Hi, my name's Owen Finnegan and I'm the CEO at the Kids Cancer Project. Welcome to our final wrap of Writer Book in a Day 2021. What a fantastic year it has been. We'd like to thank all our participants, over 507 schools and writing groups, and over 1,252 teams participated in this year's Writer Book in a Day. The competition couldn't go ahead without our wonderful volunteer judges and readers. Your school team and team coordinators helped you all the way. To all our writers, thank you very much for participating in the 2021 Writer Book in a Day competition. It's amazing. The support you got from your parents and your sponsors allowed us to raise over $595,000 towards childhood cancer research. An amazing impact on childhood cancer. We will be able to fund six research projects and from the 1st of January, the Kids Cancer Project are announcing nine new research projects, committing over $925,000 to childhood cancer research. And that is the impact of your participation in this year's competition. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to share your books and go to our online library and make sure all your sponsors get a chance to read your wonderful work. It's been a tough year, but congratulations everyone on your great writing and your great work and your fundraising for the Kids Cancer Project. Funding six research projects is a mean feat, but you've done it in 2021. We look forward to your support and make sure you join us in Write a Book in a Day in 2022 and we look forward to a great year. Cheers. So I'm Alex Tarossa. When I was 13, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And for a few years now, I've been able to work with the Kids Cancer Project to kind of represent and advocate for a lot of different things that they run. But I can think I can safely say the Write a Book in a Day challenge is definitely one of my favorite things. Uh, I was even lucky enough to do Write a Book in a Day when I was in year 11. And it was one of the it was one of the best days that I think I had during school, you know. I was just able to skip class for a day, be locked in a room with my mates, we had some snacks, we had some pizza, and we just kind of got down to writing, and it was it was an incredible experience. And as someone who went through kind of the treatment and who knows just how important it is to just have one good day, it is incredible that you guys are able to do that. You know, the books that you write will be seen by the kids in the hospitals and you'll be able to give them just that one good day. And it doesn't sound like much, but trust me, it is immensely important for them. So I just wanted to kind of take time to say thank you guys so much. And I think on behalf, I can speak on behalf of the All of Kids Cancer Project when we say thank you for everything that you've done. Even Like you're writing these books, but you also got to consider the money you've raised and the awareness you're bringing towards it. It's all incredibly important and we can't thank you enough and even just from me thank you again it's an amazing thing that you're doing uh, it's an amazing thing your school and your community is doing so hopefully next year you come back bigger and better i hope i'd like to think that you enjoyed it so much this year that you want to do it again so please do please get involved and then just once again thank you so much for your participation and yeah it means a lot thanks again Hey everyone, Nat Amor here, author of books such as Secrets of a Schoolyard Millionaire, The Power of Positive Pranking, and The Right Way to Rock. I was very honoured to be a judge in the primary division of this year's Write a Book in a Day. I absolutely love this competition because, well, it does a few of my favourite things. It gets kids creative writing, which is literally one of my favourite things in the whole wide world. That's why I became an author. Uh, secondly, it also is for a great cause, obviously, the Kids Cancer Project. But most importantly, what ends up happening is you have kids writing books for kids which makes a lot of sense to me and cuts out all those boring, stinky adults because really, who needs adults, right? So I think it's just something that we should do all the time. Bye-bye, adults. I was so impressed with the quality of the books this year. I had a really hard time judging it. So much imagination, great storytelling, excellent use of language, and the illustrations. Now, look, I can't draw to save myself, but so those some of, some of those illustrations, like, poof, blew my mind. Next time I need an illustrator, might be giving you a call for a job. But I had to do it. I had to pick some winners. As hard as it was, I had to do it. So with no further ado, the winners of the primary division are...
everyone, it's Mick Elliott here. I'm the author and illustrator of book series like Squidge Dibley and The Turners. And I also do a bunch of writing for TV shows for channels like Nickelodeon and the ABC. And it is always my absolute pleasure to be one of the many judges for the Write a Book in a Day competition. I was absolutely blown away by the quality of the entries that I got to read for 2021. For me, it usually takes anywhere between a year, maybe more, not only just to, to come up with characters for a book, but actually to write the book and edit it and polish it and get it to a point where it's ready for a reader to look at it. So I'm just absolutely amazed and uh, really, really impressed by everybody that managed to get their entries in in just one single day. And not only to, to actually just get them in, but to write really great stories and funny stories and sad stories, stories that moved me, stories that made me laugh out loud, to really, really great characters. And you did all of this, not only in a day, but also you did it in the middle of a lockdown, which is probably one of the hardest times ever to be creative. I know every author that I, I know has found it really, really hard during this year of lockdown to, uh, to come up with their stories and to be creative. So well done to everybody. And it was an absolute delight. It's an absolute delight to read and to be able to judge some of the stories. And it was not easy coming up the, with the winners. However, here we go. The winners in the middle division are My name is Felicia Harris and I'm a teacher librarian in Perth, Western Australia. It has been my great pleasure to be a judge for this year's Write a Book in a Day competition. This year I was one of the upper division judges and I've been delighted to read the stories submitted in this year's competition. The books I read were of a very high quality, they were wonderfully creative and imaginative and I enjoyed reading them a lot. Well done to everyone who participated in the upper division, you did a fantastic job. And the winner of the upper division is...
My name is Judith Russell. I'm a writer and illustrator and this year I was one of the judges for the Illustration Awards. So first of all, congratulations to everyone who wrote a book in a day. It was so difficult to pick a winner because all the stories were so wonderful, so creative and funny and I really enjoyed the illustrations. So congratulations to everybody. Yay! And the winners of the Illustration Awards are... Hi everyone, I'm Will Kostakis, the author of The Monuments Duology and a stack of other books for teenagers and younger readers. And as always, it was an absolute pleasure this year to get to judge the national book category for the Writer Book in a Day competition. Now, every year, this is always one of the highlights of my year because I get to read such engaging, such funny, such heartwarming stories. But these past two years, it has been especially meaningful for me because as somebody who is usually out on the road getting to meet young writers like you, these past two years have been quite challenging. I'm just coming out of a lockdown here in Sydney and I know the young writers in Melbourne are just coming out of their lockdown as well. This year was no exception. The stories were so incredibly engaging and it was really 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 difficult to choose between the state category winners to find our national winners so I just wanted to emphasize just what a really fantastic job you all have done some of you in really really challenging circumstances this year and I want to congratulate you all now the national prize winners are Cole Reynolds, founder of the Kids Cancer Project. What a year it has been for Write a Book in a Day. Thank you to everyone who has participated in Write a Book in a Day and helping to raise funds for childhood cancer research. 
Because of you, we can continue to fund projects with the greatest of success, led by the most brilliant scientific minds in Australia. It's been wonderful to hear from the teams about the huge effort and creativity that has gone into your books. I know that they will bring so much joy to so many children in hospital. On behalf of every child with cancer, the scientists and the Kids Cancer Project, my sincere thanks. Look forward to seeing you again in 2022. Regards, Cole Reynolds. Oh,